Hi, Flat Earthers. This is Zach. So the laser experiments that we talked about two weeks ago is not done yet, unfortunately. But we tried to do a shorter distance pretest just to get an idea how the laser would work and how to put it parallel to the water surface. Their intention was to test the laser, but they accidentally debunked someone. You want to know who this someone is? Okay, stay with me. Well, we took a quite powerful laser, but not as powerful as the one we talked about before. We took it without the collimator lens that we're going to use in the big experiments. So before I show you anything, I would love to thank the guy who paid for everything. His name is Shandor Seke or Sizic. But Mr. Mike Helmix has got a good name for him. He calls him The Mad. So that's his name for the moment. I couldn't join them this time, but I hope I'll be able to be there next time. Anyways, this pretest took place in the Lake Palatin in Hungary. They were sitting right here, and they had a boat heading to the other side, which is 10 kilometers away. But the boat didn't go that far, it just stayed here, because the laser was not strong enough to reach 10 kilometers. Now, let's take a look at the videos they took while they were there. Well, this is the place. They were lucky the water was calm and the weather was pretty fine. This is the material they used and I will leave the specification in the description. This type of laser pointers can produce green and blue beam at the same time. This is our man testing the camera right here and waiting for the rest of the crew to come. Hi buddy, how does the earth look like? Earth is flat, earth is flat, flat, flat. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Well, this is his friend Jumi watching the other side of the lake. It looks far away, but they can clearly see it with their naked eye. All Hungarians and people who have visited the lake know that the water is completely flat because they can see people on the other side from that distance without any visual problems at all. Here we got a few kids uh, doing science too. The man had an idea to set the laser horizontally with a special tube, but he said that it didn't work as he expected because of the waves and short tube and distance. Let's listen to that conversation. <laughs> Okay, so they measured the height of the laser pointer. Here are a few pictures so you can see how they did it. Okay, now they are trying to put the laser beam as parallel as possible to the water surface with the scanner in the laser units. Azóta 
<laughs> what the bag? <laughs> All right, now here is the boat moving away from them. It's moving as slowly as possible so as not to lose the laser beam from this side. We can't see the laser beam now because it's still not so dark. But by the way, they are using a blue and green laser at the same time but the green laser is more visible here they are blue and green here they are still trying to get the laser beam parallel to the water surface by the way they didn't touch the laser after it was leveled well when they reached this point which was about three kilometers away they kind of lost the beam and suddenly another boat passed by and it appeared on it let me speed up this video a little bit well as you can see the laser beam remains at the same altitude and our guys are trying to reach the end of the laser beam which is gonna be five kilometers or 3.10 miles approximately as you can see the laser beam is still at the same altitude 1.6 feet above water surface Now they are 3.10 miles away from the shore. It got dark, but darkness makes the laser beam more visible. They didn't want to go farther than that because that was almost the end of the beam. The laser was still at 1.6 feet above water surface. You can see the divergence of the laser beam, which was 1 meter in diameter. The bottom of the laser beam started to hit the water surface. Next time they will cross the lake to 23 kilometers, which is 14.3 miles distance. With the 0.03 MRAD collimator lenses on the laser, that will decrease the divergence of the beam to a farther distance. Now to clear this out to the ball earthers, this video was not made to debunk the globe earth at all. But our pretest unintentionally debunked Stephen Hawking. Here is Stephen Hawking's video. Let's take a look at it. How do you measure a flatness of a lake? With a huge ruler. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, she has a point, though. You need, you need something that you know is flat mm -hmm, to measure right. the surface of the water against. Yeah. Two feet, seven inches. <laughs> what is that? The laser is not even parallel to the water surface. The powerful laser which projects a great beam of light across the surface of the lake. Next, they'll need a boat. If the lake is flat, the laser beam and the water will always be parallel to each other. Seen from a boat, the beam would always stay at the same height above the water, no matter how far you travel into the lake. But does that happen? And can the team work out why? Time to find out. The boat has a whiteboard attached to it, which will be a target. We're looking for the laser beams so that we can mark it on the whiteboard. Oh, it's in off that. And we made the first measurement, and I was pretty confident that we weren't going to find anything. A little more to the right. Almost there. Here we go. They take their first reading 500 feet from the shore. Okay. What was the height of it? Got it. For the next measurement, they'll need to go much further out. Okay, so now I need to get three miles. 
away from the laser. All right. Awesome. Remember, if the lake is flat, it would be the same height as before. I don't even think this beam is going to hit our boat. We're going to have to measure it on something else. All right. We made the second measurement. My whole world fell apart. It's like six feet. Yeah. Yeah. It seems a lot higher. Okay. You get it? Huh? Just three miles away, the laser seems to have risen by six feet. So his boat was almost at the same distance as our boat, three miles away, which is almost five kilometers. And his laser pointer was at 2.7 feet, but our laser was even lower than that. It was at 1.6 feet, and he claimed that the curvature was six feet in three miles. Well, guess what, Mr. Steven? You are a liar. But I'm gonna let our man tell you this. Look, Mr. Steven Hoaxking, I knew you were lying, but I didn't have the definite proof to prove you wrong. But your deception made me repeat this experiment to discard your so-called evidence. We got a boat at 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles away from the laser pointer and the laser beam was exactly at 50 centimeters, which is 1.6 feet above the water surface and we didn't notice or experience any curvature drop at all. You are nothing but a liar, and your cheap actors didn't do a good job either. We have just discarded your so-called scientific evidence. Game over. Thanks, homie. Well, let's get back to our laser experiments. Igen, úgy látom, hogy titeket látlak. Az igazság, hogy a lézert azt nagyon erősen látom, titeket annyira nem. Úgyhogy simán lehet, hogy ott vagytok benne, csak nem látlak. Hát hagyd a hajón! Balul leteszlek, mert ez a recsegés, ez kicsit sok lesz nekem. Cső! <gül> Mi van? Recsegtek! Minket csinálják egy jó videót. Videót arról, hogy mit, mennyire nem láttunk semmit a sötétben. Aha. Gyuri, mosolyogjál, mert te leszel a sztár, jó? Tudod, most már lapos a föld. 540 métert, mi? Kellett volna hozni egy, egy, gomb, egy gombot ide. Ja, valami... Ez is jó Bá, vagy a békákat ide hívni. Ha látok, ez, ez már hol van már? Ez hány kilométer már? Már visszafele jönnek, és több mint fél útig mentek el. Még mindig csak fél út? De hát, ha visszafele jönnek, miért nem mennek el? A, fölösleges, mert nekik már egy másfél méteres ilyen hatalmas Igen. paca van, tehát ők már fel se tudják venni. Én innét még láttam őket, de nem nagyon változott a kép, tehát mindig ugyanazt lehetett látni, hogy kura messze, éppen lehet és látni. És minden, mindig ugyanott van. Igen. Nem vagy ez a tökéletes teszt nekünk arra, hogy hogyan kell majd a... Igen, legalább most már másikat. Másik. Mikor Csaj mondta az akadémiát, akkor gyorsan elszaladtam. Nevesen róla a vakút. Forgatta a szemeit, mikor mondtam a magyar népi táncot. <gül> Észre. Nem tetszett neki nagyon. Ez, ez azért sajnálatos, mert egy magyar embernek ne tetszen a magyar népi tánc, szóval azért az már durva. 
egész gyorsan jöttek. Mi nem tudhatjuk, hogy milyen gyökerei vannak. Jó, de jó Well, that's all. Next time we will place more cameras in different positions. We have a good plan for it. But you can share your ideas with us and we will pick up the best one. Mr. Steven, stop lying to people. The water is flat and you know it. And if the water is flat, which is about 70% of your globe Earth, then the Earth is flat too. Thanks for watching. Game over.